Hello, welcome. I'm James O'Loughlin. One of our society's greatest achievements has been our changing attitude to safety in the workplace. Back in the bad old days, it was almost accepted that if you had a certain type of job, sooner or later you'd hurt your back or fall off a ladder or get your finger bitten off by a crocodile. Now we think differently and it is the work of many inventors that's helping make our workplaces safer. Andy Meringer spends his days helping people like me see better. He wanted to find an easier way for people who wear glasses to be also able to wear safety goggles. Motocross rider Brian Fleming had an accident two years ago and became a quadriplegic. Now he and his brother Ed have created a new way for him to get around. And Duncan Helmers visited a friend in hospital and came away thinking about the IV pole she was hooked up to. He used to think all poles were the same. Now he thinks he's made a better poll. Many jobs require you to wear safety goggles. But what if you already wear glasses? You have to wear glasses over your glasses. And even though that looks really cool, <laughs> it's a tad awkward. <laughs> I've been working in optics since 1987 and uh, never left my job because I really, really love it. A couple of years ago, I wanted to give my girlfriend a Christmas present. It was a car and I wanted to blindfold her, so I couldn't find anything to blindfold her with. And then I had those wraparound sunglasses and just cut a little piece of paper which slipped exactly into, into those sunglasses and it worked perfectly as a blindfold. Gorgeous, I've got something for you. So I let her outside, showed her the car, she was happy. Oh, thank you! Uh, a couple of months later, a friend of mine came around and uh, talked to me about uh, some cheaper wraparound cycling glasses. Now, the problem was he had optical prescriptions, and normally when you wear wraparound, you get distortions on the sides. Now, uh, this was when the idea was born. If you wear prescription safety glasses and you scratch them, you could be off work for days till they get replaced. I obviously couldn't grind any optical lenses in a piece of paper, so I had to come up with something, uh, with a material which can hold optical lenses, but is flexible at the same time, and I can slip into those wraparound glasses. So I conducted some searching, and it took a while. But search, and eventually you shall find. Please welcome Andy Meringer. Andy, since I've been nine years old, I have been wearing glasses so thick because I can't see the big E on the chart. And of course, this has meant that whenever I've gone into a dangerous environment, I've had to wear one of these great, big, bulky masks over my glasses to keep me safe. And you've come up with a solution to this. Yes, I invented the icy safety foil. So there it is. Which is that one there. Okay. And it just slips into a generic, normal safety glass. Right. Uh, basically, everybody can wear those safety glasses. People, they need prescriptions. People, they don't. But if they need prescriptions, you just take that, uh, uh, that foil, slip it into your glasses, so and off you go. The foil is a piece of plastic, and the prescription lenses are embedded into the foil. That's right. Right? Yes. Okay, so let's see if we can do that now. And so here's a pair of safety glasses, and I can just go and slip them in one side, and slip them in the other side, and they make a nice click because they're not going to pop out again. Yep. All right, and now I've got a pair of prescription safety glasses that look just like a regular pair of safety glasses. Exactly, yeah. That's great. Now, I have, as I said, a really, really strong prescription because I'm very nearsighted. Yeah. Would that work as well for me? Absolutely, I can fit any script in there. So, so any, any glass prescription, I can do this? Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. And in fact, these glasses are just your prescription, Bernie. Isn't that a coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take those off Let's of here. They are a lot lighter, you notice, as soon as you pick it up. And uh, one of the great things about it is that if you scratch the outside of the glasses, um, they're only cheap. You can take out your prescription lenses exactly. and whack them in another one. So that's really good. They fit well. My eyelashes are touching 
on the glass, a tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. You just got them, got them a couple of hours ago, yeah. and the foil needs a tiny bit to adjust to the curvature of the front okay, surface so of the frame. Okay, so it's still a bit flat yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All righty, great. And is this, um, is that outside lens, not your foil, is the outside lens, is that safety goggle rated? Yes, this is polycarbonate, yep. uh, certified to 1237 standard. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> the numbers are very interesting, Andy. Uh, well, if it's a safety goggle, let's give it a burl and uh, slice up some bricks. Um, so I'm just going to get a little bit of help from you there, Mark, while I get these in position. Have we got the power? Power's on. Got the power? Got the water? Water is on. Why I order. <laughs> uh, thanks very much. Nice dry eyes. Uh, I saw that water coming at me in perfect focus. Um, <laughs> well, I'm sorry they're a bit dirty, but Hamish? <laughs> they look very flexible, Andy. Yeah. yeah. yeah give it a go. Okay. And um, I'll, I'll try those on. Yeah, they fit my big head. Um, <laughs> So have you thought about uh, other applications? Who, what's, who's your market? Basically with those ones, we go into the mining industry, con yes. uh, construction industry. Mm -hmm. We got uh, two lines. We got the safety line and we got the sports line. Mm. Right. The sports line is pretty interesting as well because, f like for motorcycle riders, because it's bendable, it fits perfectly under the padding of the helmet. Right. And uh, we can go dentists, hospitals, the army, everywhere. Swimming goggles? Uh, research and development. Okay. <laughs> it's good to have a view to the future. What sort of cost are we talking about? Are we talking about, um, what I do, I cut the price of optical prescription glasses in half, safety glasses. Uh, single vision distance, we have $100, bifocals $150, multifocals $200, and with a frame uh, for, if you want to order them on a web page or whatever, it's $28.50. That's a phenomenal saving um, yeah. compared to getting the custom made ones. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Andy, I can see the benefits. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Now time for our judges to pick a winner. Is it Andy Meringer's IC safety system, Brian and Ed Fleming's flying wheelchair, or Duncan Helmer's and his IC pole? And well, another thing, um, the IC safety system, to have something that you're not worried about getting scratched. Yeah. I mean, I have to oh. wear old glasses when mm. I do stuff outside and they're not the right prescription and I'm just too tight to spend the money. But now with yeah. something like this... Right. Um, and and with, you, could, you could have a pair of glasses that you could use, say, for, for squash or tennis. Mm right or for skiing or for you know running power equipment or for swimming I mean it's the, it's that you're getting all yeah. of them for I think one you've got, I'm not quite that sporty but <laughs> <laughs> but one could yeah one could if you got those goggles yeah I'll probably be motivated you yeah would be. Uh, what about do you think they'll all find a market uh, I, there's no question they all have yeah. markets. Mm. I mean, there's different size well, markets. Well, there was a question. There, was a question. <laughs> <laughs> there are different ah. size markets. I think that given that, what is it, half the population in Australia will be wearing glasses at some point or another in their lives. Three quarters, yeah. apparently, well, if you look at this sample. <laughs> How would you add up all those different things that you've said and find a winner? Hamish, you can go first. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Extremely difficult. Um, and as Mark said, they've progressed, some of them have progressed further than others. So I'm thinking just on that and the availability and the marketability. I love the wheelchair and I can see the icy pole being moved all the time. But I think the safety system, the icy safety system, just might poop them. Do either of you two disagree with them? I think you're spot on with the market for, um, for the icy safety system. Mm. But for me, um, the difference that it's going to make to the life of someone who's gone from being incredibly active to um, being really confined in what they can do, the fly-in chair, is, yeah. um, uh, it gets my vote. So, Marky Mark. As someone who has never worn eyeglasses on television before, <laughs> I have to say that I'm going for the icy safety system. The eyes. Yeah. The eyes have it then. The winner is Andy Meringer and his IC safety system. Congratulations, Well, Andy's in the running to be named our inventor of the year. Thanks to our judges, especially guest judge Hamish Murray. Thank you very much. And thanks to the real stars of the show, the inventors. We will see you next week. Good night.